Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade logarithmic system. So I think this system is pretty interesting because we're going to talk about the solution method as well as looking at the graph. I think the graph is pretty interesting. Anyways, we have x to the power log y plus y to the power log x equals 2 and x to the power log x plus y to the power log y equals 11. We've done similar problems before, but I don't think we've solved a system like this before. First of all, pay attention to the domain. The log function is only well defined for positive numbers, positive reals. So we require that x is positive and y is positive. So we're not going to accept any other solutions. All right. First of all, one thing that we should always keep in mind, and this is a really nice property, and we talked about this a few times, x to the power log y and y to the power log x. They're equal. Now, let's quickly discuss why. And this is a really, really nice property of logs. Why are they equal? Because if you log each one, for example, if you log x to the power log y, you get log y times log x. Okay, let's just save that. If you log y to the power log x, you get log x times log y. Let's save that too. And then I compare the results. The logs are equal, right? Therefore, the expressions are also equal because the log function is a bijection. Okay. So first of all, we established that. And our original equations, one of them at least, right, tells us that x to the power log y plus y to the power log x equals 2. Otherwise, it's really hard to solve these equations. So if, I, if you start off with the second one, you can log both sides, but log of a sum, it's not going to get anywhere. So that's why we started with the first one, because it's easier. So since these two things are equal, they're going to share the two equally, right? Like one each. So this is one and this is one. And we don't have to worry about both, because they're going to give us the same results, basically, right? It's just going to be, um, the, it means the solutions are going to be interchangeable. So x to the power log y equals 1. W what is that supposed to mean? Three things. x could be 1, and then uh, log y can be anything, right? Or uh, log y can be 0, uh, and x should not equal 0. And the third case scenario is x is negative 1 and log y is even. But that's not going to work because, remember, x and y both have to be positive, right? So x equals 1 is a good one, but what about log y equals 0, right? If log y is equal to 0, this implies that y is equal to 1, right? And what does that give us? Okay, so let's take a look. When x equals 1, what happens in the second equation? That's something we need to check, right? So let's go ahead and rewrite the second equation. The second equation tells us x to the power log x plus y to the power log y equals 11. But before I, I start substituting, let's go ahead and take a look at the solutions. Like, what does the first equation give us? x equals 1 or y equals 1, because either one can be true. Well, x equals 1 is a vertical line, and y equals 1 is a horizontal line. So we get a horizontal line and a vertical line. Wow, interesting, right? But it's not the whole line. It's ac actually a half line because x and y both have to be positive. So, in other words, you're looking at this. You start at 0, 1, but it's an open dot. You get a line like this. You start at 1, 0 with an open dot, and you kind of go like this. Two lines that intersect at 1, 1. Okay, so what? Now, we're going to go ahead and substitute, and when you see the graph of this, by the way, this is not a function, right? This is a relation, but guess what? Desmos can graph relations. Remember, in one of the community posts, I had shared with you, I believe it was the graph of x to the power log y equals y to the power log, log x, exactly to the point. So that's the identity we talked about today. They're equal, but only in the first quadrant. And you don't see all the points, obviously. It's just a resolution thing. Anyways, so... Let's go ahead and substitute x equals 1 into the equation. That gives us 1 plus y to the power log y equals 11, which implies y to the power log y equals 10. So this is another equation we need to solve, but we can easily solve this equation by logging both sides. If you log both sides, you get log y times log y, which is log y 
squared and log 10 is 1 because it's base 10, right? The common logarithm. So this gives us two results. Uh, log y equals 1 and log y equals negative 1. But we have said x and y have to be positive. It's okay. X and y are positive, but log y can be negative, right? This just means y equals 10, and this just means y equals 1 tenth. So that means when x equals 1, y can be 10 or 1 tenth. And since they're interchangeable, the same thing is true for y and x, or x and y. Okay, hopefully you get the idea. But let me go ahead and show you what the graph looks like, and then you'll also get to see the whole solution set there. Okay, I really find the graph interesting. I don't know what your thoughts are going to be on this one. Please let me know what you think. This is a really interesting, kind of like a quarter circle, but not quite, right? It's kind of like a curvy, interesting shape. And notice that the horizontal line and the vertical line and this weird closed shape, they intersect at four points, and those points are 1, 1 tenth, 1, 10, 10, 1, and 1 tenth, 1. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.